and welcome back to my channel. I'm filming outside today because I thought the lighting was really good and it's really hot and I just wanted to be outside and it's nice and pretty so I hope the lighting is good and everything. Okay so today as you might see the title it's about the Aerial palette. Um, I've been watching a few videos and they've been um, you know some good some bad regarding the palette. Here's the box and here's the actual palette really pretty. So I decided since um, my last video was doing a tutorial with it I decided to make a review on it. So when I saw this palette online I think it was a limited um, amount that they were giving out. Um, they were putting on sale on Sephora and it was only for VIBs and it was only for like a day. I'm not sure but I remember I saw someone talk about it. They posted it on Instagram so I'm like oh my god I have to go get it just because to me, personally, I saw the packaging and I'm like, oh, I love Ariel. I saw the packaging I'm like, oh my gosh, it's really, really pretty. The colors look really, really nice. The packaging was pretty much why I got it, though, because I just thought it was really nice and I like pretty things. <laughs> so um, I went online and luckily I was able to get one. Well, I have a few Sephora palettes, you know, like the Sephora brand, and I like the, the quality of them. They're not the best, they're not the worst, I've had work. They're definitely really, really good compared to other ones that I've tried. So I figured, you know, if the quality is similar to that, then it's going to be a good buy, right? So I figured if the quality is really good, um, just like the other palettes I have, um, which is decent and I can work with, then it should be fine. So um, I went ahead and bought it. I know that they had the Cinderella one and the Jasmine one. I think this is only the third one, right? I'm not sure. I don't have any of the other ones because I like the Disney. I just love Disney overall. But they didn't grab my attention. The Jasmine did. But I think by the time I decided, okay, I really want it, it was sold out. So I figured, whatever. So, and then I had heard that this was the last one. So I re just really, really wanted it. So that's why I bought it. I bought it because of packaging. I bought it because it was the last one. I bought it because I love Disney. I bought it because I figured the um, shadows were going to be decent. I mean, I didn't expect them to be the best because they're Sephora brand. Like, they do good quality, but they're not the best. So, um, that is why I bought it. Okay, so now let's go through it and see if it's something you would want to buy. Because I know a lot of people are saying, like, it's not worth it. It is $55, so it's not the cheapest palette. It has... Six, no, 20 colors. It has 20 eyeshadows. They're in the back here. It has 20 eyeshadows. Um, they're mostly shimmer. There's a couple mattes and a lot of, I think, a couple glitter ones as well. Okay, so obviously, like I said, packaging sold me. Look how pretty it is. Even, this is like just a cardboard box it came in. So, it's really pretty. It has a lot of detail scenes from the movie and even like the barcode. A lot of people are talking about the barcode and how, you know, even that's in detail. And I mean, I think for a lot of the people that are going to buy it, they're going to buy it because it's really pretty. Like the packaging, the packaging. Some people just want to buy things because it's pretty. So I think they did a great job. If that's what they're going for, I mean, if people see it and they just automatically want to buy it because of the packaging, they got it on point. So, and then... This is the inside when you take it out of the box. Mine's a little dirty because I've been, you know, using it up and stuff. So, look at, like, the colors and, like, the metallic and everything. It's, I mean, it's gorgeous. Um, that's the bag. Nothing fancy in the back. Just, you know, storybook palette. Story I, storybook eyeshadow palette. And whatever, you know? And then we take it out. Here are the eyeshadows. It comes with a little screen. comes with this to cover the shadows then it comes in this like I said I've been using mine up so and then you could take this off you could take it out and then you could use this you know as a little box to store in little things or whatever so that I mean the packaging I feel like they took a lot of time and they uh, put a lot of thought into it because they knew people were gonna go and grab it because the packaging alone like even if it didn't have shadows I think people would have bought this because it's just so pretty you can use it to store things and I mean that's what they concentrated on and I feel like that's what they were counting on the most you know that um people were gonna you know recognize that that the packaging is adorable and it's just really pretty that they were gonna go buy it regardless of what was inside of it okay so now here are the colors i like a lot of the colors um 
I like these greens. These greens are really, really pretty. The blues are really, really pretty as well. Um, the purple is really nice. This, like, reddish, pinkish one is really pretty. A lot of them are nice. The only two that I don't like at all is, no, I think it's three of them. The three, well, two mostly and then one kind of, like, whatever, are these two, which is Flounder and Sebastian. Those are the two matte ones. And, I don't know if you're going to be in and oh, I was watching earlier. Those, I mean, they're okay. Sebastian is a little better than Flounder. Flounder is just really bad. Like, it doesn't even show up on my skin. Like, that's, I mean, it's gonna get a lot. Like, it doesn't even show up on my skin. Like, it's, it fades in completely. And even like, when I blend it into my eye and everything, it's, it's just really bad quality. It's very powdery. It's, um, if, kind of I don't know like it looks like a very cheap um, eyeshadow and Sebastian it's it's a little better but I mean this is without primer and everything but it's still can you see it a little it's really powdery still um, it's a little more visible on my skin than not um, then flounder completely you can't tell you can't even tell I have it on but if and like you can see like I grabbed it with my finger and like it's super powdery like like every time you touch it with whether it's with a brush or whether it's with your finger like you you lose a lot of it because it's so powdery like and that goes for all of them like even these that are like a little more like I really like this one like you could tell on my finger it's like it's on there and like when I swatch it like little balls of shadow stay there because it's so powdery and it's like you can see it that's you know really really pigmented and everything but I don't want it to be falling all over the place and you could see on the shadow alone it's like it has a little ball of like the powderiness but okay whatever like I could work with that right it's I mean it's fine a lot of people were saying about the whole why does it have a red Ariel's hair is red I think they concentrated like even with the packaging I think they concentrated more on like the ocean the blues and this and that but everyone's like where's the red um and a lot of people are saying you know a lot of people aren't gonna wear red eyeshadows a lot of people uh, aren't into like crazy red eyeshadows and crazy red and not even red like just crazy colors but I think because it is Ariel, people were expecting the red. Like, they figured, it had, you know, you have 20 shadows, why not throw a red in there? Like, it's Ariel, like, you need a red. Like, even if I'm not going to use it all the time, which personally I would because I love crazy colors, like, people wanted a red. So, like, why wouldn't you just throw red in there? Like, out of 20 shadows, like, really, do you need this ugly, unfortunate souls color that is like a gray purple not even purple it's like a nasty gray like looks like a gloomy day color like I mean no do you need that stupid flounder color that isn't even like visible on most skin tones I'm sure no like I mean I think they could have thrown a red in there um whether people were going to use it or whether they weren't going to use it they just I mean I think because it's aerial it should have they should have just thrown it. Is it similar to Sephora, other Sephora palettes? I think it's more powdery than other Sephora palettes. I have other Sephora palettes, like the little, like, basket one, or not the basket, the little, the bag one, the little bag that opens up and looks like a little Sephora bag. I love that one. Like, I love that one. Like, it's so pretty. Like, and the colors are really, really good. Um, the lipsticks, I don't use as much. It comes with, like, it pulls out into, like, lipsticks and um, blushes and this and that. Like, they're not that great. But, like, the eyeshadows, they're really good. Like, they're not powdery at all. Maybe one or two, but not even. Probably not. This one, all of them are powdery. Like, there's not, even the really pigmented ones, they're powdery. And no one wants powdery eyeshadows. Like, you know, am I going to return this? Because I know some people are like, you know what, I bought it, you know, it's not worth it. I'm going to return it just to show Sephora, you know, that it, we don't like this. We want better products. They shouldn't be depending on just like um, the packaging. No, I like it. I mean, I can work with it. Like, it's not the worst I've ever had. So I'm going to I'm gonna keep it. I think it's pretty. I think um, I can work with a lot of the colors except like a few dumb ones that don't work very well. But I mean, overall... 
I love the packaging. I think they really thought it through with it. Am I going to use this as a separate storage? Probably not. I'm just going to keep the eyeshadow palettes in there. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, are you going to... I think it's releasing mid-July, mid early July, late July. I don't know. I could be wrong. I know July, somewhere in July. Um, it's going to be released to everyone. And would I recommend this to someone? I think I would recommend it to those who I know love Ariel. Um, someone that loves Ariel, loves Disney, loves princesses, um, loves makeup overall. Like, I'm, am I going to pull this out like every single time? Maybe not all the time. Did I just buy it because it's pretty and because I love collecting makeup? Um, partially because of that. I think it's just really nice. Um... I am going to use like a lot of the blues and the greens and all that, but a lot of the colors I can find better quality in other palettes. So, um, was it worth the $55? I think $55 is expensive, but I think they made it $55 because it is Disney, it is Sephora, and it is the packaging probably, you're paying probably like $50 for the packaging and five for the shadows, to be honest. Like, I mean, you're paying for the packaging, you're paying for the limited edition you know name the fact that it's you know small quantities and limited edition and it's disney and it's uh you know the last one that they're gonna have i mean the other ones were 55 too i think but i mean you're paying that much because of the name um can you find something that's cheaper and better quality yes you can but is it gonna be as pretty no is it gonna be sephora probably not maybe is it going to be a Disney, like, princess one? Oh, definitely not. So, um, to me personally, I I really like it. I love the packaging. I bought it for the packaging practically, not expecting much of the shadows, like I said. Um, is 55 a lot? I mean, yeah. I I know other shadows are more expensive. Um, they're a little better quality. But I think 55, I'm not surprised it was 55. Um I probably would have expected it to be like 60, 70, just because, like I said, it's limited edition, it's a princess. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. If you're going to buy it, you're going to probably buy it for the packaging, like I said, just because you want to have it, not necessarily for the shadows. Would I recommend it? Like I said, only if you're a true fan of makeup, a true fan of Disney, a true fan of like Ariel overall. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know, would you buy it? Are you going to buy it? Um, what do you think? I'm going to try and insert like pictures of the um, swatches I've done. I have them on Instagram as well. Just let me know what you think. Let me know if it's worth it. What do you think about them not having a red shade? What do you think about the price? What do you think about this whole, the eyeshadow suck and this and that? Like, would you buy it anyway? Like, would you recommend it? Like I said, only to certain people I would. Other people I'd be like, you know what? Go check out a different palette that's way cheaper that you know has probably more colors better quality and you're gonna enjoy more but yeah that's what i think okay guys so let me know what you think of this review it's my first review so make sure to leave some comments on you know anything else that you want me to review anything else you want me to do a video on and don't forget to check me out on instagram twitter facebook i'll show pictures at the end of all the swatches of the aerial palette just so you could get a better idea and i'll talk to you guys next time bye